case briefs and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. In 1989, a lawsuit was filed by Mary Cartwright and the Northwest Indiana Open Housing Center against American Savings and Loan Association, alleging that the denial of Mary's home construction loan application was due to discrimination based on her race and gender. Additionally, they accused American Savings of engaging in redlining in the area where she planned to build. The case, Cartwright v. American Savings and Loan Assen, was heard by the United States Court of Appeals for the Seventh Circuit. Mary and her second husband purchased lots to build a home and applied for a $90,000 mortgage loan from American Savings, estimating the value of their new residence at $91,250. However, the district court dismissed the case due to lack of evidence. The plaintiffs appealed to the United States Court of Appeals for the Seventh Circuit, which upheld the dismissal. The court dismissed the appellant's claims under the Fair Housing Act, Equal Credit Opportunity Act, and Civil Rights Act, finding that there was insufficient evidence to prove that Mary Cartwright faced discrimination or that American savings engaged in redlining. The court also concluded that Mary was not creditworthy, and thus the ruling was in favor of American savings. The trial court's findings and conclusions were upheld, and the plaintiff's appellants were ordered to bear the costs of the appeal. Case briefs and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. Visit lse.law, elevate your mind. Leave the stress of class.